So my favorite TV show came to an end Sunday. Succession concluded a brilliant four season run on HBO with its highest rated episode since the show's debut, according to Warner Brothers Discovery, which also owns CNN. If you're unfamiliar with Succession, it's an incredibly engrossing look at the battle between three siblings to succeed their larger than life, kind of monstrous father as head of a major media conglomerate. <clears throat> it's a tragedy really on an epic scale that also feels deeply personal because the writing and the acting is so strong. It's also at times very funny. It's won a number of Emmy Awards, including for its acting, which includes my next guest, Jeremy Strong, who plays Kendall Roy. He joins us tonight for his first television interview since the finale. And we warn you, there are many, many spoilers ahead about what happens in the finale. So are you glad it's over? Because I mean, you from everything I've read about you and, and heard you say, you are very deeply, you embody the character. I mean, you, you've, you're you intensely into the, your character. Are you glad it, you're no longer Kendall? Yeah, I mean, I, it, look, I think it was, it's been the role of a lifetime. It's been an immeasurable gift to get to sort of, you know, run the gauntlet mm. with this character. Um, it was heavy. I feel a responsibility to, to serve the writing and embody what the writers are asking the character to go through. So that, but that heaviness, I mean, it's incredibly heavy. Uh, and until the last episode, I don't think I saw Kendall smile. Yeah, yeah uh, I don't think, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll talk about this scene, but yeah. does, is it heavy then when the cameras aren't rolling and you're back home and you're, you know, going out to the grocery store? I think in the eight months when you're filming, uh -huh. you know, you, you sort of go, on airplane mode a bit in your life, uh -huh. and you take on uh -huh. the the material, uh -huh. and 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 it kind of takes over, or it hangs over you. Right. I mean, you know, the show was always it's Shakespearean. It was always heavy as the head that wears the crown, yeah. and and there and there is a sense of that heaviness, especially with this character. The, the final scene where Kendall is walks toward the water, and his security guy, who was his father's security guy, is following him. Um, I, when I was watching it, I thought you were going to run to the water and jump over and and attempt to kill yourself. Um, you didn't do that, but I read that you actually, you as a character th felt that way and you actually did a, a take that way. Yeah, I did. I, I did try and go in the water. Um, one of the incredible things about working on something for seven years since we started the pilot and just having 40 hours, a canvas of 40 hours of storytelling is just your, your instincts for the thing um, become uh, a part of you and, and, and are very alive. And, and um, you know, your job is to give the writing, you know, uh, uh, heart and nerve and sinew and density and weight and all that stuff. And then at a certain point, I think something, if you're lucky, something kind of ineffable happens and you enter into it. And the character has just been put through so much, has been through so much hell, really, mm. from the Chappaquiddick incident to, in a way, almost the most heartbreaking thing to me is the revelation in this final episode of this moment when he was nine years old at the candy kitchen, right. where his father says, one day this will be yours. And, and the sort of curse of that, the sentence of that. So I felt that this is an extinction level event. I didn't feel that For I your character. come back from what happens to him. That, that, I mean, what do you think happens to each, because I thought about this a lot after this, the episode was over, like where does Kendall go, what happens to Kendall later on in his life? What is the rest of his life like? What is Shiv's life like? What is Roman's life like? Roman clearly, I mean, the way he was looking at that martini yeah, scary. Uh, seems like alcohol is going to yeah, be... Yeah, think, I think so. I think that there's a real uh, vortex that he's going to get... And, and, and Shiv, that extraordinary non-handhold, uh, where <laughs> you're, you're the yeah. camera person is also like, mm. I mean, it was incredible. No, it's terrible. It's terrible. You know, she's sort of... It's a great capitulation. And, 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 the, and the patriarchy has, has triumphed and, you know... And it's not for me to say how the show should end. It's it's for Jesse Armstrong, um, the, the you know there, but for the grace of of him went all of us this whole time, and and his writing and the depth of it and 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 uh, his insight into human nature. I think he feels that people are kind of 
stuck in to doom to repeat themselves. Yeah, I mean, you imagine Shiv and Tom, you know, in some sterile palatial penthouse somewhere living yeah, their lives like her with this, her unhappy yeah. child, you know, her, she a kind of unhappy mother. And Kendall, I, I heard Jesse Armstrong say, uh, I think in the after show, that, you know, maybe Kendall will start a company or something, but it'll never quite... This will be the defining moment of his life and sort of the stain that marks his life, I think. Um, yeah, in that moment, you know, one of the, one of the great joys of, of working uh, on this show in particular and making movies is, is the sort of discoveries you make, you know, in situ. Mm. And so the, 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 the collaborative nature of the medium, we had a great deal of latitude and freedom mm. to follow those instincts and impulses and... In, in the scene, when yeah. we're actually shooting. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I want to show the scene, uh, you're in Barbados and uh, it, you, I mean, this incredible emotionally charged family reunion has occurred and they have anointed you. You are going to be the one to take over the company. I just want to show this. Drink up. This is going to be all right, right? Like, we're all right. Yeah? Just drink it. Oh, my God. Oh. Kings don't wear silly hats. Kings wear crowns. I can't drink anymore. Well, then don't. Wear your crown, sir. Oh, no. No, 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 yeah, it, it's heartbreaking. It, yeah, it, I, I, I find it heartbreaking. It's I mean, very it's sad. It's such a tragedy. Yeah, and there's a kind of unadulterated happiness that they have with each other, and 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 you see, you could sort of glimpse an alternate yeah. thing for them. I, I just want to show the scene uh, of uh, of the critical vote is 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 taking place, and Shiv walks out of the room, and you need her vote in order to take over your dad's company. Right. Um, let's just watch this. Vote for me. Just plead, vote for me, Shiv. Vote for me. No. Yes. No. Shiv, don't do this. No. You can't do this, no. Shiv. No, absolutely yes. no. not, man. No. Absolutely not. No. Why? No, why? What, just... I love you. I really, I love you, but I cannot stomach you. This is f***ing disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. You're disgusting. You're f***ing heartless. What? It's f***ing nuts. It doesn't even make any sense. I'm the eldest boy. God. I am the eldest boy. You're not. And you know, it, this, it mattered to him. He wanted this to go on. I'm the eldest boy. I, that, that was written? Or, yeah. I mean, that was, yeah. that, that scene, that box within a box in that box-like building. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's just so much going on in that. Yeah. Well, you know, it, this is a moment where there's a writer's strike, right? And so it, it feels important to say that none of this show, this show doesn't exist mm -hmm. without- The writing is incredible. Without, the writing is everything. It's everything. That's all scripted, every, you know, every, every, every word. But it's really, it's a show about the underneaths, as, as I think Shiv says to Tom in this episode. Mm. It's about the underneaths of, of these people, uh, uh, of their struggles, the underneaths of the country. And that's the profundity of it. And, 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 but I think, you know, this scene, uh, it, it's brutal for me to watch. Um, it's just, uh, you know, it's that, it's that Greek idea that character is fate. Mm. I think from the very beginning, uh, this, this, was, this was going to happen. Well, thank you for, uh, for being here and for your performance for the last seven years. It's thank you so brought much. so much just joy and thought and emotion into so many people's lives and mine in particular, so thank you. Thanks, Anderson. Really appreciate it.